Greetings, family. It's Empathy. I'm obviously in nature. Ah, oh, so I've done my workout. I so since uh, the weather's been so nice, I've been changing my workouts to most days outside. So I'm working out four days outside um, a week now. So my bike is getting a bit of neglect, but it's only because it's nice outside because. I will definitely be on it back in the winter, but I still get on it. I have to get on it at least once a week because you get streaks and I don't want to miss my streaks. And I'm like, I'm over a year of streaks. So I can't, I have to get on at least once a week. So my bike, I still get on it and I do my yoga still. So, but outside is where it's at with the workouts family. And so when I work out after I'm done, I come to nature. So that's what's up family. Um, out here enjoying the beauty and the splendor oh my gosh uh, some children are here at a uh, for a summer camp and they have the privilege to be walking through the creek it's so nice they look like they're having so much fun family I hope you guys are getting out in nature and I hope you are leveling up loving yourself getting to know yourself more every day family okay um, today I wanted to talk specifically about um, just what's going what I see what my experience is and what I see going on around me so I, I often I'm out walking at night and um, I have a space in my home where I can kind of chill and kind of look up at the stars so family I've been looking up at the stars and I've been seeing things in the, in the sky that look like stars but they don't behave like stars okay family so it's like this. I want you. I want. I want to ask you to do something. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Look up. Look up at night. Okay. When you're looking up at night, just pick like the brightest star. Okay. Just gaze at it. Just watch it. Just, just do nothing but take a look at it. Okay. What I've been noticing about these um, so-called stars are, is that they move. They move in real erratic patterns. Like sometimes they'll be going like this, they'll move slowly and then they'll do like a zigzag and then they'll go up and then they'll go back down. Like, and they're supposed to be stars, right, family? At least that's what they look like from, from my vantage point. But I don't know stars to behave like that, right? And so of course I say, oh my gosh, this is not, no, I think that these cannot be stars. So I, I show my, my, my children, they've all seen it and they're like, yeah, I don't know, mom, that doesn't look normal. And I've shown some friends, right? And so. Most people are like, oh, it's probably a satellite or whatnot and so forth, right? Most people are more prone to just believe that it, it can't be that it's some kind of ship out, out and out, out there. It can't be. It can't be uh, um, uh, another life force or another an unknown life force or another race or somebody or some beings from another galaxy. Can't be. Can't be. From another planet. Can't be. Right? And so people automatically... Um, exclude that as a possibility but family listen man I don't know and even in the daytime skies if we look up we can see some things that don't look like airplanes family um, so I challenge you to do that when you're out at night look up look up and find the brightest star and just watch it for a while okay just watch it and trust me you'll see it moving okay and then look at another one and another one they all do it I shouldn't say all of them. The the faint stars don't move. Well, at least I can't see them moving. But the bright, bright ones are the ones that move, family. And I don't know what if stars are supposed to move like that, okay? Anyway, I hope you guys uh, get a chance to take a look and see what's up and see for yourself. And let me know what you think, man. I don't know. I, I, I see moving, moving, erratically moving bright lights up in the sky every night okay family and there's even one specific one that flashes red white and blue i swear to you and it moves as well it's man i know i'm not crazy so i'm not even contemplating that but something's going on up in the sky okay um and i'm a firm believer that we are not the only life in the galaxy and that there, I, I, I doubt, I highly doubt that, there's, doubt that there's not life on other planets. Family, like, no, there's life everywhere, right? I just, they just make us believe, you know, or lead us to believe or program us to think that we're 
we're the only thing out there just so that we don't think and 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 wonder and and think beyond ourselves right so on earth we incarnate in this meat suit called and we're human beings right but think about it they say that um some planets are so cold people can't exist absolutely people human beings can exist but other life forms can exist right because not every life form is in a meat suit in a human meat suit right family so yeah i, I just I, I, i'll be the first person to admit that i know nothing and i can't wait to learn more because i recognize that i have to unlearn everything that i've been taught my whole life to be open to and relearn the truth, right? Because there's so much for us to know and learn. And for the last two and a half years, I've been learning and learning and learning every day more and more about who we really are, who and what we really are, what we're really living in, um, right? And, and in, even in the stuff that I'm learning, who knows if that's really the truth too, right? The, the, the one thing that I know for sure is that I don't know <laughs> you know because really what do we know other than what we experience right family but I think the key is to being open to the fact that there are other um, that there are things beyond our experience or perception right things beyond what we've seen already for sure for sure there are right Anyway, family, I really hope that you're getting out in nature because this is so beautiful out here. I, 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 especially if you're in a climate where there's a short summer, like you have to be in, you know, making sure that you're getting out and, and, and being grateful for it and enjoying it, family. Um, and you're expressing your gratitude by partaking and enjoying it, right? Um, and I really hope that you are getting to know yourself every day. I, I, I hope, family, that we're meditating um, you know, spending time with ourself above all, right? I think that's the key is just spending time with yourself. But when you can do it in a place as natural and beautiful and as real as, as a nature space like this, it accelerates your, your growth family. I'm telling you. Um, but yeah, I hope, I hope that you, everybody's doing well for themselves. Okay. Especially during these messed up, messed up, challenging times, you know, like, <laughs> I can see exactly what's happening around us. Like the bed, like every, they're just trying to squeeze us and squeeze us and squeeze us. It's, it's, it's actually very obvious what's happening, at least to me, right? Here, here in Canada, the interest rates have gone up, I think four, four times in the last, or uh, maybe even more, four times in the last few months, right? Um, like, and, and and you can see and, and the cost of food and you can just see that they're just really trying to squeeze people you know I really feel for people because during the whole pandemic thing a lot of people you know we were working from home we were spending a lot of a lot more time in our houses so a lot of people upsized their homes right they got into a bigger space, right? So obviously a bigger space is a bigger payment, that, that, blah, 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 you know? And of course, when we, when the whole hot market COVID house swapping thing happened, the interest rates were like 1.1%, 1, 1, 1, and, 1 and change, right? And so all those people jumped in and they're fixed. Yeah, 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 fixed rate, you know, with a, with a more expensive ma mortgage payment. And I feel for them because the payment just keeps going up and up and up. You know, like for myself, I relocated a year ago, right? I, but I thankfully went down. <laughs> um, yet my payment keeps going up and up and up, right? But I'm, but, I'm, but I'm more able to manage it because I downsized, right? Oh, what a time, you know? They really are going to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze us as much as they can, family. I can see it and feel it. You know, and what can, what is there we can that we can do about it? There's absolutely nothing unless we rise up like some of the other countries are, have been doing. Right. Big up Sri Lanka. Hey, hey, you know, that footage is hilarious of what the people, the people that were fed up. Right. And apparently it's happening. The Sri Lankans have inspired many other um, citizens of other countries to do the same. And maybe that's the answer. You know, um, you know, the Canadians surprised me with the trucker convoy so but you know i think somebody's still in jail for that one of the organizers or something so 
you know, maybe we won't be as uh, gung-ho to, to overthrow the government or try, given the muscle that they really flexed on those people that just organized the protest, the peaceful protest, right? Um, I think that somebody, one of them is still in jail, I think, actually, or, or can't get bail or something. One of the protest uh, organizers, which is absolutely crazy. That was in, um, I would I want to say maybe February or March. That's a long time ago, and they're still, and it's July. Anyway, family, they're squeezing us. I hope you can see it. The only way out of this is to go within yourself get to know yourself get to learn yourself love yourself so that you can listen to that inner voice because that inner voice will guide your steps i'm living proof and i'm telling you okay um vibrate high it's the only way out of this don't allow them they're gonna try their best to squeeze 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 um but do your best to counteract that right so what i try to do is i try to I try to predict or foreshadow or, or, or kind of see all of the different things that, that my enemy can do to try to further attack me, right? That's what I try to do in order to cope. And in doing that, you kind of look at, you kind of have to look at things from a perspective that's not so favorable, right? I think it's important to do that in order to plan, to order, in order to plan, right? I know some people don't like it. Some people don't like to hear about the, the possible negative things that can happen. Some people think that's bringing it on. But I, don't, I think that there's a difference. I think there's a difference between bringing it on versus being aware and planning to counteract, right? I think um, when you bring it on is about walking around worrying about it. Oh my goodness. The market's going to crash. Oh my goodness, the market's going to crash. Like worrying about it, having that preoccupy your mind, right? I, I don't worry. Nothing stays on my mind longer than a, a little bit. That's the amount of time needed in order to kind of say, okay, they are going to crash the markets. They may crash the markets. Okay, let me do this, that, that with my finances. And, I, and I, 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 you think about it a little bit here and there, but you don't obsess over it. I think the obsessing over it is what brings it on versus the planning to abate or avoid it or reduce its impact on you, right? I feel like I'm rambling, but I wanna really make this clear because I think it's important. There's a big difference between watching what the government is doing, seeing their previous pattern of behavior and trying to predict their future behavior and plan for it, okay? So that you're not caught. That's, 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 that's one way of doing things. I think that there's a big difference of doing that as opposed to just walking around saying, oh my gosh, the government's going to do this. Oh my gosh, the government's going to do that. And just walking around and just saying it for saying its sake. Okay. I'm a firm believer. My children are well aware of the possibilities of what may come. Okay. Because I don't want when things are weird for them to freak out, right? If none of the things that may come come, if none of the things that I feel and I and I and the signs point to are coming, if none of them come, that's okay. You know, the planning you did for it's like for this. I have a generator. I have a generator. If I need the generator, that's wonderful. But if I don't need the generator, that's okay too, right? The good thing is I bought it at Costco so I can take it back at any time. But that's what I'm saying. It's it's in its box, never been opened, but it's there just in case, family, right? And, it, and, and, and people might say, oh, you're crazy for whatever. But no, you, you know, to me, I, I just like to prepare, you know, as much as I can. Anyway, family, I am rambling at this point. I just wanted to touch base with you guys, I encourage you guys to get out in nature, I encourage you guys to continue to evolve, okay? And in that evolution, you got to vibrate high. Okay, family, thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. I love and I value each and every one of you. One love.